Hello and welcome to La La Land. Today we are going to do our own dermaplaning. Yes, I said this. If you went to an anesthetician, it costs, depending on where you live, anywhere from $65 to $110. And it's only 20 or 30 minute procedure. At home, you can do it in under 15 and have the same wonderful benefits. So without any further ado, I could do, let's start shaving our face. Okay, dermaplaning is not like shaving your face. This is so much more effective. It takes one to two weeks for your skin to heal after you dermaplane. And so you need to have a good window because you don't want to irritate your face. So I do it like every uh, month or six weeks. Okay, some tools you're going to need is of course a dermaplaning tool. I will link all of this in the description box below. I am using Hydrosilk a dermaplaning tool and it has removable heads and I can use this at least three times. Now I've used these Shishido little um, <laughs> dermaplaning shavers. Then next you're going to need, and this is something I'm doing for the first time, is adding an oil. Now there are special oils for dermaplaning but if you have jojoba oil or squalene oil or rose hips already on site, that's all you need. And this will help your razor glide smoothly and keep you from getting irritated. So I'm going to get myself my ducks in a row and then we're going to get back and start shaving. It's not really shaving, but it does not hurt. I'm going to put my jojoba oil on. My face is washed and cleaned. So I have the oil on. I don't, you don't need very much, just a couple drops. I don't do my neck, but I do under here. Okay, now you got the oil on. You better wipe it off your hands so that you're not slipping with your blade. All right, then I have my blade here and I like to clean it first, even though I cleaned it the last time I used it. I need to write down, I think this is the second time or the third time I'm using this one. All right, so I'm gonna start on my forehead and again, a 45 degree angle, starting, don't, don't cut your hair off. Looks like Mount Everest, okay. So see, 45 degree angle, lightly, very light. Watch out for your brows. <laughs> I remember one time I did this and I cut into my brows. Not a good thing. Just keep lightly. It's getting off the gutch. It's been a while since I've um, dermaplaned. Just be very, very careful. Do it slow. I get in a hurry sometimes. 45 degree angle, light, and it does not hurt. And this oil is really cool. So the tricky areas are between your eyebrows. And I go down my nose very carefully. I've cut my nose before. You want to use your hand, didn't explain that, to pull your skin taut. As I said, you're gonna have to be extremely careful. Okay, you get hair, especially when you're looking in a, um, a mirror that's close up, it's very helpful. This is where you can nick yourself, so be very, very careful around the nose. Cheeks next, pull your skin taut, keep away from your sideburns. Clean it often so you can get that good shot. 45 degree angle, whole skin taut. Taut, taut, tautness. It's so effective. And with practice, it's hard to see, with practice, you'll be amazed. Oh, this oil is a great idea. Be very careful. Mustache. I like it. Oh. I have hair on my lips, so I'm careful to use a, uh, just a little, one of these little things like that. 
that gets right on the upper lip. You don't want to cut your lips. Do this. 45 degree angle. Keep reminding yourself. Oh, I can see getting the hair off. If I can teach you anything, take your time with this. The oil is fabulous. You can uh, add more oil if you want to. So I'm gonna look at my face some more, make sure I got it uh, how I want it, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the aftercare. Okay, we're all done with the last step, which was to go in and rinse your face with cool water. And I used a very soft wash rag to make sure I got all the dead skin and hair and glitch off my face before I go right into my squalene oil and my heavy duty moisturizer. Now, I do not recommend from personal experience to, that you should use any vitamin C, lactic acid, glycolic, any of those to your skin, including retinols and retinoid for the first 24 hours because your skin is going to be sensitive. Now, your skin should not be, however, red and raw and inflamed and bloody. That, that should not be that way, but a little tenderness is normal. Like you'll notice that when you put on your products that you'll feel a little bit of stinging. Not much, but that's what's happened to me every time and I've been doing this for over a year. The benefits of dermaplaning, which I am going to reiterate for you. So the top eight benefits removes peach fuzz. Helps the fight against acne. However, you do not want to dermaplane when your skin is active with acne. So make sure your face is clear and um, in great condition before you do it. Baby smooth skin. It really is just amazing. If you have ex exfoliated at all, you know how soft your skin is. And this is just one of the best ways to get that smooth skin. And it rejuvenates the skin because of the exfoliation. It evens out the skin tone. When the layer of dead skin cells is removed from the surface, the dark patches and the sunspots will appear much less noticeable. Smoother makeup application. It does because your skin is just smooth like a baby's bottom. I can attest to this. It minimizes pores, diminishes fine lines and wrinkles. Because of the newly exposed layer of skin reflects light better, making it appear healthier while making fine lines and wrinkles less noticeable. It's non-invasive with no chemical peel downtime. It's, it's very worth giving it a shot. If you're not comfortable, go to an anesthetist the first time and then you will see the benefit. You don't want to over dermaplane. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Okay, I hope you like this enough to subscribe and hit the like button and leave comments. It's so important to me, so I thank you in advance. It really helps my channel, helps me feel even more energized bringing these topics to you because I do love doing this. It's so much fun. I learn so much myself and I want to pass it on to you. Now, just get out there with your sunscreen on. Don't sit directly in the sun. Put your big hat on and enjoy your day and we will see you again very soon.